This doesn't just mean day-to-day line planning. This means forward-looking planning. In order to do a staffing plan, you need some data to know on a weekly basis, how many employees do we actually have calling off? Do we see seasonal spikes of illness, weather problems? Um, Think about summertime. What happens in late June? The kids are going off. The kids are off for the summer, right? What happens to staffing at that point? Sometimes that is a moment where we will see a spike in absenteeism as people figure out childcare. Um, Just as a small anecdote, one company noticed a spike uh, the day after their local football team had a big game because people were having a lot of fun on Sundays, right? That gives them the opportunity to probably do some proactive communication with their teams and also potentially plan for that staffing. Um, I'll give you one more example. We had a company that was noticing a pattern of drop-offs in a logistic trucking line, a particular shift. People were no were not coming in. On the day of, they were using TeamSense to call off, like, I'm sick, whatever reason, I'm not coming in. Knowing that, they were like, dang, why are people always sick on a Wednesday when they would have to do this particular line shift or, sorry, logistical trucking line shift? Um, and what they learned is it was a really obnoxious shift for employees. The route was complex. The timing was too tight. They couldn't take a break. Um, the mapping was confusing. So because of that, they were able to actually improve employee experience. That's an opportunity to then send out even a team sent survey to get back a little bit more information about employee experience and actually make a change to their experience on that shift. Tighten it up, improve communication, build in a break, and actually work toward improving attendance on that day.